It's here, it's here, it's here, it's finally here. That's right. The Positron, that upside down printer that folds down into a box as big as the box your filament spools come in. That's right. The LDO Positron kit is here. You can pre-order it now. Links in the description and shout out to LDO Motors for sending this kit for testing and evaluation. But it's been a long time coming. I know when am I going to be building a Positron is probably one of the questions I've been asked the most over the past couple years when it comes to upcoming printer builds. And uh, it's finally time, it's finally time. So before we jump into this box though, we're gonna take a little detour because last month at Rocky Mountain Rep Rap Fest, I actually had the chance to talk with Nomad from the Positron team. So we're gonna flash back to that. And then once you're up to speed on what is a Positron and what's going on with these kits, make sure you come back because we're gonna dive into this box. So let's jump on over. Hello, we are here with Nomad at the Positron booth attached to the LDO booth here at Rocky Mountain Rep Rap Fest 2024. And we have the final iteration of the Positron that will hopefully be shipping soon. So Nomad, what do we got here? So what we have here is the Positron version 3.2. So as you may know, if you've been following the Positron project, there is the V3 that is currently out and available. However, we've identified upon attempting to make a mass production, there's a lot of problems with the V3. We actually have the V3 right here. Um, and one thing is, for example, is the Synchromesh cable. Synchromesh was really good for when we were originally designing this and we just had, we had too big of belts for a kinematic system like this. So we used Synchromesh. Turns out only one company really makes Synchro Mesh, and when it breaks or snaps, then you have a complete mess of cable that is all entangled and wound, and it will take you hours to fix. So in our testing and working with LDO, we've stumbled upon three millimeter belts. So that's one of the many improvements that we've made. We've moved from plastic idlers to metal idlers, and we have improved so many little things, such as the bed wobble, as well as just overall tightness in the machine itself. And that's what we've been doing for the past two years. We've been just honing the machine, improving its tolerances, and just making it a better unit. So if we actually look at the old one here, you can see there's actually a decent amount of wobble in our old design. And while at the time it was okay while during testing, we figured, okay, no, we need to scrap that. So we added knurling inside the uh, the bed connector here so that it meshes together and it locks in w just with itself. Yeah, because the, the, the whole thing with the, the Positron, for those who don't know, it collapses down to, it'll fit in a filament box. So you need to have it to be able to move so you can collapse it down, but then you gotta be able to make it rigid again to print. Yeah, so the whole thing that we decided on that is that, all right, we wanted a printer that was portable so you could take it from a dormitory to your workshop and just be able to bring it with you. So you don't have to lug like a V0 or a Ender 3 or something like that. So we wanted it to be portable. There's been a ton of foldable printers out there, such as Cartesian ones where the whole thing folds down, but then you have to re-square the, uh, the whole system. And that's not user friendly, it's not nice, it's, it's a waste of time. So what we did is we put the entire XY system in the base of the printer so that you never have to redo that every time you deploy the machine. We put the Z motor also in the base so that doesn't take up more space. So with two screws, this whole thing's able to fold into the shape of a filament box and can be portable for whatever it is you plan to do. We are testing right here is a PLA print that we're working on and right here is a PETG print. In theory, we can do ABS and ASA if there's an enclosure. Okay. But we haven't actually tested that yet. So we cannot confirm nor deny if that is possible. All we know is that in theory, it could work. Okay. So for those that are interested in getting one of these, what kind of options will be available for procuring one? So right now we are, we're copying Boron's homework. <laughs> uh, it is going to just be the kits and none of the printed parts. Okay. So you get all the electronics, all the extrusion cuts, all the motors, etc. Now we are using a custom LDO board inside of this okay. that fits the shape of the Positron and actually allows you to have your Raspberry Pi CM4 in this little screen here. Oh, so the CM4 is in. Yep. Nice. 
and uh, running clipper, obviously. We also have a USB port and Ethernet port on the side for anyone who doesn't want to connect it to Wi-Fi. We completely understand. That's something I really pushed for because I work in IT. Yep, and with the USB, you can put a camera on it too if you really you can want to. put a camera to. on it, other accessories like fans, etc. It, it's, possibilities are kind of endless. Like one thing we're working on right now is cooling. We definitely need a little bit more part cooling on this printer, but we know, hey, we can just make a module that plugs into the USB port. We, if you want a camera, plug it into the USB port. We have so many options with this. It really opens up everything. One thing we're looking into is right now we use an IR sensor, which is that little red light you see there. Okay. That is our ZN stop. Now, we understand it's not the most reliable, especially when it comes to glass. It works great for homing the bed, but it's not perfect. We're looking at ways to allow that can board to have the option of a micro probe or a, you know, a touch probe, something like that. So people can expand upon it and modify it to however they want it to be. We really want this to be a platform for people to expand and make. So the kit, for example, it's going to come with this power brick that's just a laptop power brick. Oh, so, okay, so where to? Yep, right, yep, here. right there. And now this is just a 24 volt, 200 watt power brick, but we're going to make sure there's enough space for an integrated power supply if that's a, something you want to do. Okay. So we're really trying to make this as customizable as can be. Now, uh, for shipping, is this box included? Yes, it is. So you do get a fancy Pelican type case yep. to put the printer in after you build it. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, custom on the inside. Actually, let me grab one second. So let's move over here real quick. So on the inside of this, let me move my various things. It, we have it custom cut for the Positron itself. So all the pieces can fit in and nothing will jostle around. Awesome. Yeah. That's cool to see. So when is, uh, do you know when release is planned? So we are planning on doing pre-orders starting in May, early okay. May. Now, once we do pre-orders, we are planning to ship to retailers in late May. So we're hoping in June, people can get their hands on this. We're gonna do a very limited run in the beginning because we wanna make sure that we iron out any bugs or any issues that we have going to mass production. Because uh, our testing pool has been about 12 or so people because uh, making units for mass production and beta units for testing is difficult. Yes. So we wanna make sure that we're doing this slow so we're not sending a thousand broken units. We wanna make sure we do right by the community, we do right by everybody. We are going to be releasing the design files for this to be open source, just like Podstron was. And we're gonna be making sure that we work with the community to improve this as best as we possibly can. Awesome, that's good to hear. I can't wait to build one. Yeah, and I can't wait to see uh, what you can make of it. Awesome, cheers. Cheers. Hey, you came back. So, what's in the box? Let's take a look. So first things first here, as you can see, this box right here is bigger than a filament box. So this is a kit and you have to build the printer. So what's in the kit? What does the kit come with? Well, we get this box here of fasteners. There's all your screws and tubes and zip ties and whatnot. Motor kit. There's all the motors there. Motion kit. And that's all your bearings, your drive gears, your belts, all that. Electronics. So here's all your controller boards, wires, fans. And this is pretty cool because for those that don't know, for example, the Positron comes with a custom controller board specifically to fit the form factor of its uh, small case. So that's pretty cool that that comes with the LDO kit. Linear rail kit. These are all your rails that you're gonna need. And then we have this big box. So what's in this box? Well, this is where your printer will actually stow when you are not printing with it. Yes, while the Positron does fit in a filament box when all folded down, a filament box doesn't actually provide, let's be honest, any real degree of protection. So if you're traveling with your printer, uh, you're probably gonna want something a little bit more robust to store it in. And that's where this case comes in. So this case comes with the kit. Right now, it's just being used to store additional components. We have our touch screen here, uh, the bed itself, that fancy cool glass bed with the heater built in. And then we have more additional components, power cable. We got the power brick here. And then these are components that you're gonna need for assembling the physical frame of the printer itself. We have some carbon fiber, 
some metal components, machine components, and there you go. And this is the base or the top of the printer. I can't remember which part this is, but again, another machined aluminum component. So once it's all built, you can use the case that those parts came in to store and travel with your printer. So that's pretty cool. And one of the bonuses that comes with this kit is you do get the travel case. There's not much to it. It's a, uh, it's a small compact travel printer. So hope that translates into a short build. So let's talk about that now. So of course we are gonna be live streaming the build series on this channel and we're starting this Tuesday. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out for that. And it's a special sort of stream because I'm not gonna be building the Positron alone. I'm gonna be having Steve Builds on the channel with me to participate in this build series. It's gonna be a double team for the build and we're gonna be doing it on both of our channels. So we're gonna alternate a build stream on my channel and a build stream on his channel. So I'll have Steve's channel linked in the description below. Make sure you're subscribed to him as well because you're not gonna to wanna to miss out because I wanna give a huge shout out to the LDO team for setting this kit over. Shout out to Nomad and the Positron team for just being awesome when it comes to engagement and feedback and answering questions because I can't wait to build this printer. People have been asking me when I'm gonna be building this printer for quite a while. And I'll be honest, when it first came out, I thought it was kind of cool, but it was obviously a tech demo trade show kind of thing. I, I didn't think it would make it to the state where it could be mass producible, something that you can just buy off the shelf. And it, it finally is, you, you can now buy these kits, but a lot of work has gone into taking that original design with the synchro mesh and the, some of the design choices and turning that into something that is a reliable, usable printer that you can reliably produce and sell. And, you know, we're at version 3.2 of the Positron and we're finally there. So hope you enjoy the build series. Again, make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you don't miss out. If you wanna help support the channel, the content I create and the things I do, why not check out some of the links in the description below. Some of them are affiliate links, go a long way in supporting the channel and don't cost you anything extra. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to get this started. Cheers.